still in beautiful sunny Spain in Ayea de los Caballeros in the region of Aragon and today we're going to head back to that beautiful place that desert that we found yesterday in the previous episode at the end of the day now we're going to see it in all its glory and explore it a little further oh it's been nice staying in a little hostel instead of a of your typical hotel where we made the last video these are usually in smaller places these are also the affordable places somewhere between 25 to 35 euros uh, a night calm now atlas and also just a little smaller places you go through are nicer this way we're not allowed in there right Are you for there or for here? We'll find out. Let's go back to the Bardenas Reales. And I noticed that in this region, it's been heaps wind. Oh, maybe it is one way. Okay. I noticed in this region how much more windy, windier it is. And the locals call it El Cierzo. Those are the cold winds in the winter. Oh, Atlas, you can't go here. This is under construction. No, it's still, why can't you just be patient for the fun later? <laughs> Let's see if we can get past that. What are you doing, Atlas? fat behind your big booty atlas big booty atlas all right <laughs> yeah they cut a nice irrigation canal out here right the castle or fort of sadaba it's like a perfect square almost oh to be honest I don't know why the Spanish had to build castles. Probably the Moors built it, because, you know, they never had to worry about the Portuguese, you know. It was only them that was always looking at uh, Portuguese clay, you know. And the Portuguese never done anything wrong, so I don't know why uh, the Spanish would build this. But it uh, could have been built by the Moors and then taken from the moors. That is cool. You see the bedrock? I wonder if it used to be higher up and the land eroded away and then they stuck the rocks. As you can see, that was not how it was, but that's pretty dope. So this all just washed away over time, probably. Looks restored. Ah, here we go. We got a cheat sheet. This will. This was, will tell us everything we need to know. Or not. Oh, look. I wonder if this was also for hay. Oh, the prisoners. Or maybe water. Cool, eh? All right, that was a castle splash and dash ride for the town. Yeah, Atlas is beginning to look like this. Love it when a bit of dust gets on there. Crossing the Rigel. Let's see if we find the historic center. Yeah, that's looking like it. Yeah, always have to ride for one of these. Beauty. Gotta love this. One is. Yeah, look at this. This is really cool. We got the church here. Yes, we do. Well, I'll see it in that camera. <laughs> ah, this is great. Can you hear it?
gimbal is really messed up. Gimbal motor overloaded. Having lots of trouble with the headwind. Man, yeah, gimbal's broken, I reckon. Just when you're in a place to bust them out, eh? Well, that sucks, but uh, there's also a lot of wind. But anyway, but I was looking at the, at the camera gimbal of the drone. When I opened it up, it sat, the, the protection sat loose in there. That keeps it in place, so the whole thing can move around pretty much and bounce and hit anything in there. So I can only imagine, as uh, you know, what went on in there for a while and it's not good. I even saw fine gray dust on the clear pl uh, protective plastic, so th that's friction. But yeah, that's the thing with my travels. I've said this before while we go down into beautiful Badlands is that uh, the stuff I travel with and because of the way that I travel, it tends not to last. At some point it will break uh, the issues. Uh, yesterday. Dunk. The canyon. Sick. Does that go underneath? No. Like I said, lots of wind here, so forgive me if the audio gets bad. Hopefully uh, the wind catcher catches heaps of it. I could have just gone down with outbound there. Look at that. That's why I came here. You got this tabletop, it's eroded underneath. I wonder, wonder if the water even runs through there. Oh no, it comes from up there, and then it drops. It's like a mini waterfall. Add this place to the list of places I want to go to when nobody is supposed to go there. That's a thing that's been developing in my head for a while. You know, in the future, just plan trips to certain areas during rain season. I would love to see this go wild, full of water everywhere. Bring a light uh, bike. So underneath it's hollowed out. <sighs> That's weird. You see the cracks? The fault line? It's Nothing's gonna happen probably, but it feels weird. <laughs> um, there's another place, Australia in Kimberley. Kimberley Ranges during rain season. Then it's officially closed off, but that's just 400 kilometers of, of wild. No, wait a second. Did I say Flinders or Kimber? Yeah, Kimberley's up north, northwest. And then just ride the madness. See all the water go crazy. Water just coming from everywhere. Look at that. <laughs> that's just some hole somewhere underground and pushes that water through here. I think this might be an ancient natural sundial. This is some rock solid riverbed. Just one of the layers, right? And under maybe a thick layer of this could be another layer of, uh, of sediment. Any crawdaddies in here? Bring you 250s. And your nobbies. Oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> oh, this, oh, that is. Any pottery uh, people out there? I'm not a pottery person, but just. 
they must be thinking, oh my god, even I know that this is beautiful natural clay. <laughs> well, there go the shoes for today. Whoa. Yeah, this was cool in Chile. Remember Antofagasta? Okay. We were actually riding through sections of these little canyons. With Alp. Oh, she's all right. Covered in dust in the parking garage all alone. People ask me, ask me, what's up with Alp? Still in Argentina. As this uh, crazy world still goes around. Partly unchanged. Another plateau. Yeah, this is great. Now, since this morning, I know that something like this, uh, this geological occurrence here in this desert is what is known as Badlands. And uh, that's good to know now, because I was familiar with the word, but I never knew what it was. A, uh, I've seen it as the title of songs and movies, so Badlands. And there's uh, heaps of that in the United States, as some of the Yankee go home uh, watching will know. Here you can really see the process. These big slabs here on the ground. Whoa, slippery. As the water rushes past this corner here in the river, cutting into the dirt. As you can see there. And then these big rock slabs fall beautiful thing now something I wish I was more uh, knew more about because I think this would be an excellent place to do it is fossil hunting because as you can see all the layers are exposed here here future tabletops Let's come back in about 50,000 years or more. Put it in your calendar. Yeah, and I think this is plenty deep. Imagine this dropping. Look at this. You can see it again. Rock table, rock table up, up here. Here's where the perfect table slabs are. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. I think I found where man first crawled out of the water. Damn you, first man. If you just hadn't done that, we wouldn't be in this mad weird mess that we're in you also want to have a closer look atlas all right fair enough <laughs> yep. That's the thing with the Atlas. Sit slow <laughs> with the Atlas. I like how it's become synonymous with uh, Transalp. <laughs> you want to have another whack at that? There we go. Not too bad, eh? Have a dip your feet a little.
Oh yeah. Hey, I'm eating my own dust. Love it. for the rest of us will ya look at that sediment how close can we get you there atlas castillo de pena flor interesting all right place your bets actual castle or geology and thousands and millions of years combined oh i might be on the wrong side of things that but um, I have a no messing around policy at the moment with this lake nature what are we doing no messing about he said this is not really too much messing about okay I guess we'll have to walk let's inspect and explore closer I don't know if we can get up there man look at the eagles or whatever they are I think my best chance is this way. folks nature or man-made oh shit I think this is the way it's the best spot but no way it could reach completely oh shit to be fair 
good get up here. Oh, there's something they used to stick to that. A rope. My main issue is, once you have to get down here, you get back down. And uh, I only have specific mobility in my left knee right now. There's no support here. What do you reckon, Atlas? Man-made or nature? Uh, might have a little window in it or not. Yeah, I think it's man-made. There was something of a staircase there once upon a time. All right, it might, this trail should connect somewhere. Hello. Definitely a bit post-apocalyptic. Crazy. Look at this. This is very muddy. Oh, it's not that bad, I thought. If it's that quicksand, imagine see standing up, getting your front wheel stuck in that. fixation because you kind of have to <laughs> Deceptive horizon. This would happen in uh, uh, um, Mongolia sometimes. So you'd see a section coming up on the horizon and throttle up because you figure, oh wait, I'm good to go now. And uh, yeah, well that's mud. Yeah, you saw what happened to those footsteps of mine. So you'd uh, throttle up on the way to the horizon. Turns out that suddenly there's a drastic change in direction. And now I have the, the phone. Uh, I, I wouldn't have, back then I didn't really have used navigation actually. So uh, everything was a surprise. And then all of a sudden, uh, oh, that was bad. you run out of corner and you're in the bush. Uh, luckily there was never something there, although I did pass by some rocks one time. <laughs> Okay, so I throttle up there and all of a sudden down there's this turn like oh shit and then you still have to manage to slow down. A little shed in the middle of the desert. Does it look
look like there's anybody home. Cabana Cortinas. Beauty. Oh, there's Area 59. Uh, here, there's a military zone adjacent to here. That's where we were last night. Look at that. What's balancing on top? Look at that, there's still some tables on top, some rock tables, brilliant. So this is uh, the beginning before the real end, right? Before it all erodes all the way down and it was like it was never here. Again, call me up in 50,000 years, we'll have a look. I love the wide open spaces, man. Yeah, this is... Uh, to the military base. I wanted to go in there earlier, but uh, it's all a big red zone. Like I said, this is where they keep all the Spanish UFOs. They run on paella and tapas. So I've heard. Speaking of Mongolia, haven't had this since Mongolia. <sighs> if there's any sign that I should be eating, it's this.
guided that pretty well into there. Was that big hump there still too? Went around it. And then you hope that there's nothing in the grass that froze you off. Let's eat some cookies. Uh, it's kind of the day got away from me. It just passed real fast while we we're out there. And uh, there was nowhere to eat. And then I decided, you know, I'll just leave it. That was dumb shot. Could have been avoided if I uh, was standing up. Shit happens. Ride and learn. just like the castle. So it gets completely dug out from under. Whoa. Just look at that. And so here on the moon, in moon, comes a, a long riding day to an end. I am I'm gone. It was wild at times feeling completely out of this world in, uh, in a place like Spain. So we can continue a little bit of that vibe as we uh, encroach, get closer on the Pyrenees for our crossing to France. See you in the next one. Ciao.